rolling. To another episode of the Catch the Sky podcast. I am your host, Sweet T, and I appreciate you joining me on this solo adventure this week. Dick Francisco is on vacation, and while she's not on the air, I'm sure she'll be just as interested as some of our listeners in what we've got in store for this episode. You may follow me on Twitter at CTS Terry or by searching for the Catch the Sky podcast on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when we release our new episodes. Dick can be found on Twitter at I'm Dick Francisco and on Instagram at The Dick Francisco. So this week I wanted to discuss transition and how we manage that. So on episode 97, I discussed making small changes in our lives and the huge impacts they can have. And sometimes those changes are purposeful, enacted by us, and other times they come out of nowhere. We're surprised, and there's very little that we can do to prepare for them. But there is everything that we can do in how we react to those situations. And so I just wanted to discuss that a little bit uh, this might be similar to our 64th episode where we had a guest on that helped us with grief management. So if any of you remember that episode, you may hear some similarities. When we encounter change in our lives, that change is usually accompanied by some emotion, whether it be happiness, anger, sadness, fear, regret, whatever. And all of those emotions have signals or signs, um, maybe precursors is a better word to use. And once you start to recognize these precursors, you get a better hold of any situation that you're in because you're not letting your emotions take the driver's seat, right? You're maintaining control over everything. You're just recognizing that, yes, you do feel this way in the moment instead of just going ahead and feeling it and dealing with the consequences later. So recognizing that you're having these emotions is one of the most important things or one of the first things that we can do when experiencing change. Don't make emotional decisions. It's okay to recognize that you are emotional and through that recognition, you're basically taking the wheel back from your emotions. You're in the driver's seat. And once you're in the driver's seat, that gives you the opportunity to just slow down a little bit. So you've already established that you don't wanna make an emotional decision and if you haven't gone ahead and thought about what exactly you do want to do to handle this change in your life, just go ahead and slow down. Give yourself the time to think about it. You don't have to make a decision right on the spot. I mean, unless you're in some unfortunate circumstance where there's a gun to your head. And in that case, I'm not sure why you're listening to this podcast. But in most situations, you will have some time. And you can give yourself that time. And it's okay. So go ahead, recognize your emotion, and then slow down. Assess the situation and breathe. Just take a deep breath before you make any decisions. Calm yourself. And if we're using the driving metaphor here, this is your opportunity to just pull off to the side of the road. Take a rest stop real quick, get out and stretch, clear your mind before you proceed with whatever is next on your journey. Once you've collected yourself and you know where you're going, you can go ahead and step into that period of transition or change with the utmost confidence in yourself that you know what you're doing, or at least you have an outline that you're going to follow and that you're not making emotionally reactive decisions. And once you've done all that, you should find that these periods of transition 
or change should not feel so stressful because you recognize that it's all just part of the process. Nothing happens immediately unless you're super rich, okay? So I think very few of our listeners are in that situation, if any. So nothing's going to come to us immediately. We don't have people at our beck and call that are there just to make our lives easier. So it's up to us to make our lives easier. Give yourself a break every now and then. Slow down and breathe. I know that this is a brief episode this week, but I really do think it's an important message because some of us just go through our daily lives and don't take the time to assess what's going on around us or how it's making us feel or if how we're feeling is a reaction to what's going on around us. Sometimes we just got to take a step back, check out what's going on, make some little minor tweaks, and then we can continue forward on our journey. I think it pays off every now and then. As Ferris Bueller once said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. It might just seem like a memorable line in a silly 80s movie, but it really is important. If you don't stop every once in a while and look around, you're just going to keep trucking along on whatever path it is that you set for yourself the last time that you did take an opportunity to stop and look around. Life is not linear. <laughs> There's a lot of different paths that we go down and choices that we make that change the direction of our journey. And so I wish all of you listening the best of luck in whatever decisions lie ahead for you. And if you're feeling stressed out about a period of transition or change that might lie ahead, go ahead and take a little bit more time. It's okay. Make sure that you're making the right decision. And then go ahead and proceed. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Dick will be joining us again next week. You may find her on Twitter at I'm Dick Francisco or on Instagram at the Dick Francisco. You may find me on Twitter at CTS Terry or by searching for the Catch the Sky podcast on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to hit that like or subscribe button and you will be notified whenever we release our weekly episodes. And until next week, thank you for tuning in and keep trying to catch the sky.